All right, I'm here with Lillian Anderson, and uh, Lillian's going to tell us a story about when she was a baby. You probably don't remember this, they probably told you, but can you tell us what happened when you were with your grandmother in the lightning storm? Well, it was very early in the morning, and my father had um, got up really early to do his burn work and get the milking done and everything. And it was a terrific lightning storm. And my mother was cooking pancakes on the kitchen stove. And I think my father was holding me on a couch which was near the stove, at the end of the stove. And when the lightning struck, it uh, knocked me out of my father's arms and across the kitchen floor, and I ended up on the f underneath the table. And um, so, now this was a story I don't remember, but this is a story they tell me. And but anyway, it, it didn't do me any harm. No, I was all right. You, you're how old are you now, Lil? I'm ninety. I was my birthday is March the twenty first, nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty. So people can figure that. So it didn't do you any harm at all, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so how old am I now? Ninety. Ninety five. Jillian figured that out. I know. Bless your heart. She's good in math. Good in math. Yeah. 95. I thought I was 96. <laughs> but I'm trying for 96, I guess. In your 96th year. Well, Lillian, things have changed a lot since you were a little girl. What was it like? What can you remember about being a little girl and how people were living in those days? You were probably traveling with... Did they use horses then? Oh yes, traveled with, uh, in the winter time, the horse and sleigh, and in yeah. the winter time with the horse and wagon. Okay. And uh, I do remember my mother used to like to come and visit her sister who lived here in the Wijewak. And uh, Dad would get the horse and carriage ready for her, and uh, she'd sit up and drive that horse over to my aunt's for a little visit. I remember that. I was always a little nervous about mom driving that horse because they, <laughs> the legs and feet seemed to be so close to the front of the little carriage. carriage. But yeah. Anyway, no harm done. We had always had a nice little visit at Aunt Jessie's. So you, you lived at Darlings Island, which is just across the water here. Yes. So you, you'd be Fair little drive with a horse to come around. Oh yes, it would be. Take you a little while to get here. Well, it went pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, did did you you came with your mother? When, oh yes. Yeah. Mother did the driving. And when you were ready to go to school, where did you go to school? Down, down to Nowichawak to grade one. Grade one at Nowichawak. Yes, I had. Uh, I I think there was a van that Miss Lordly, I remember, was my grade one school teacher. Okay. And she lived in Renforth. And traveled back and forth? Yes. On the train, would it be? Miss Lordly. Yes, I think she did. Yeah. And that school, how many grades did you go to that school? Go up to grade eight. To grade eight. And then where would you go to school after that? To Hampton. To Hampton. We'd have to go on the train. On the train? Well, one year I think they arranged for like a taxi or a, somebody to drive us. Yeah. In one of the years, I don't remember which one. But when I started, I, would, I think we went on the train. On the train, okay. And the, if you went into St. John, that's how you go, by train? Oh, yes. Yeah. The station was just down the road from here. There was a okay. station house. Just as you went across the track to go to Darlings Island, oh, yes. it was a large station house. Right and there. in the morning with the farmers bringing their milk right. to ship on the train, it was a, quite a little, Very busy. lots of activity there yeah. around 7.30 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Did you get the train about that time when you went to Hampton? You did yes. that, that train. Yes, and it seems to me when the time changed, in those days the time changed for some reason or other. Right. And um, that made quite a difference because 
it, you had to get up early, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you grew up on the farm. Yes. And your father milked cows. Yes. Yeah. And I learned to milk cows. Oh, you did. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the whether you were a girl or boy in your family, you had to milk cows. Hmm. We didn't have to particularly, I don't think, but it was a help that yeah. I learned to milk and I helped Dad. Not a lot, but... You, you could milk a cow? I could. Yeah. What, do you remember how many cows your father would keep at that time? Or well, how many you would milk? It was a barn full of cows. Okay. So I right. suppose there'd be 15. Yeah. 12 quite, or 15. Quite a few to milk. Yes. And did your father grow other things? Or was it just milk that he produced? Oh no, he had a large vegetable garden. Yeah. And he had to cut all the hay, of course, on the farm for right. the, uh, for the, and put it in the uh, barn for the winter. Yeah. And your brother Ron is still on the farm. Yes, he's That's still on the farm. Still on the farm. Yeah. But he's been away, of course. Yes. Right. But now he's back home and on the farm, which is nice. Nice to have him there. Nice for us and nice for him, I think. And he still grows a garden, he was telling me. Yes. Yeah. So when you finished school, you, you went to Hampton and went to... Then I decided I wanted to be a nurse. Okay. So I went in training. I applied various places, but they, I was accepted first to go to St. Stephen. Okay. So I did that and uh, had my three years training in, at Ch Chipman Memorial Hospital in St. Stephen. St. Stephen. And then where did you end up working? Um, I think I'm in St. John. In St. John. Because I was living in St. John at the time. Okay. So. Yeah. So you, you were a nurse for quite a few years? I'm still a nurse. You still? <laughs> <laughs> still can do any nursing that's required. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes, well, when I got married, I did some night duty. Okay. But um, I just kind of forget. Yeah. Do you, do you, were the river boats running here? Can you remember any of the river boats on the. On the St. John River? Yeah, or when you were younger? Were they still? No. Well, I suppose they were, but we didn't know. Didn't we didn't were in touch with that at all? Anything like that? No. My aunts. I can remember my dad's two sisters used to take um, trips on the riverboat. Okay. I remember them speaking about it. Uh, and they were still, still doing that. Do you remember much about what it was like when the war came in nineteen? 39 was a quite a difficult thing for people with rationing or not, not too um, well it was I wasn't living home at the time right. I was in St. Stephen I think during the, the war we yes. were trained there yes yeah and you were nursing and when did you meet your your husband, was it in St. John? Or was he... I met him in St. How was that now? Yeah. He, was he from New York? He, no, he was from... Uh, he was from Renforth. He was from Renforth? Okay. Yes. And I had a friend, I had friends in Renforth. Oh, okay. Nursing friends. And I met him through them. Okay. So... After you were married, you decided to move back to this area? No, we lived in Renforth. We oh. had a little home in Renforth. Okay, lived in Renforth. Mm -hmm. So how, how did you end up getting back to the Wichuwak, or this, this area? Well, I met my husband, I guess, while I... He was from Renforth, too. Right, yeah. So, uh, just... Just After we were married, I don't know, we were wondering where to live. Murray loved it here. Oh, he liked this area. Yeah, he loved it here. Yeah. And, uh, of course, my family and everybody was here, and he got to know a lot of people. He, yeah. he wanted to come back here. So you didn't mind moving back? No. <laughs> you were quite happy <laughs> to move back to this area. The night that we moved here, 
the people in the community knew we were coming. Yes. And they had a big party all arranged. There was food in the house and and people all came and welcomed us. Oh, that was nice. Yes. And you didn't know that was going to happen. No. Yeah. But there had been a party in the community, you know, and the, the food that was left over, they had left here because oh, okay. they knew that we were coming. <laughs> yeah, so you had quite a, quite a nice welcome. Yes, yeah. it was wonderful. When you lived on Darling's Island, did your father have a car? Did he use oh, a car? Oh, yes, he had a, had a car. Good car. Did my father have a, a, a car? A car? Yeah. Not always, no. No. Okay. The horses were the main way yes. to travel. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and you would milk the cows and did you have, how did you keep the milk cool? Well he had an ice house and oh. in the winter, in the summertime they, or in the winter time they would pack large cakes of ice in the ice house okay. and it was large blocks of ice covered with sawdust okay, in that, the ice house. and. The, that kept it cold. Able to keep that in cold until did, did during they, the summer. They cut the ice in the winter off of the lake right yes. in front of the farm there. Yes. Did you ever go down when they did that? Ever well, see it? We them? always could see it. It was great because the tracks of the sleds hauling the ice to the ice house was wonderful when it was finished because we could get on at the house and just go down right out on the lake. Oh, slide. <laughs> so they would cut the ice? In large, um, yes. They, there was a special saw that they used. Okay. And they knew the, the width and everything that was best to use to for use. keeping yeah. it in the sawdust. And they do that after, right after the river froze hard, or went, or later on, before Christmas, probably, or or did it depend? Yes, I think before Christmas. Before Christmas, before the snow got. Too yes, yeah. whenever the the ice was Harder. ready. Yeah, and they saw, and you'd have no electricity on Darling's no, Island at that not, time. Not in that when time. When you were small, so you had lanterns to light. Lanterns and lamps. And lamps, yeah. Mm hmm. Studied with a little lamp. Kerosene. Kerosene lamps. Kerosene lamps. And did you have a radio? Well, we did get a radio. Yes. And that was quite something. That was a real luxury. <laughs> and I remember when we got it, we all gathered around listening to it, of course. Yeah. It so it would be a battery radio. Yes. Yeah. And You'd listen, like every evening, would you listen to, th to things, or quite often? Yes, but it wasn't on all the time or anything, it was just oh. kind of a special little thing that we did. Yeah, so it's not but like... I was quite old, but you know, I was... I forget. Probably I forget. in your teens? When, yes. When they got the radio. Yes. Yeah. What, when did the power come to Darling's Island, was it after the war, or was it later on than that, maybe? I'm trying to think about that. Yeah. Because a lot of places it was the 50s before they got power, mm -hmm. probably after the war. Yeah. And how many in your family? How many boys and how many girls? Two, two boys. Yeah. You see, I'm going to have to count us. <laughs> There's quite a few oh, girls, isn't it? Right in June. June. Norma. Six in our family. Oh, okay, so quite a, quite a good sized <coughs> family. Yeah. And your father stayed on the farm, and Ron helped him for quite a few years. Yes, he did. He, he was sort of a farmer. And the rest were probably moved away, and, and or was did Jim stay there on the farm too? Yes. Jim was on the farm. Yes, too. Jim was on the farm. Yeah. So both, both, both brothers stayed on yeah. the farm. Yeah. Well, Jim more than Brad because Brad did go and study for the ministry, you know. Oh, okay. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So after a while, he was 
he was away. Yes, he yeah. was away, and then Jim ran the farm. For quite a few years. Yes. Yeah. And is the, has the farm been in the family a long time? Oh, yes. That, the Henderson's farm has been there yes. quite, a, quite a few years. Mm -hmm. yeah. How This house is a beautiful old house. How, how many years have you lived here now? You were, uh, I was married in 46. Okay. And this is where we lived. Oh, so it's, <laughs> you've been here a long, <laughs> quite a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and to, you keep it up wonderful. It's a very nice house. Well, it's a, it's a great old house. Yeah. Uh, and you still do some gardening? And not too much. Not too much now. Yeah. Put a little row. I used to have a row up at the, on the farm. Okay. That I could put a few vegetables in. In there, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, we did try having a garden. We had it a field over in the side of the house here. We had it plowed up one year okay. and put it in, had some vegetables. It seemed a lot of work, you know, to, for the few vegetables for the, that we used. Yeah. yeah. The, Trains were probably the main way to travel when you were a girl, if you wanted to go any distance. Any distance, yes, but the farthest we went was the Hampton. It was, okay, so people didn't travel like they do now. No. They were pretty... I would say they didn't, no. Yeah, okay. The main thing that we did was to come to Sunday school and church on Sunday. That would be the... That would be the big thing. Yeah. Where, where did you go to church when you were on the Here island? in the Wichawak. To the church that's just... Yeah. Up the, the little same church you go to yes, now, the Christian exactly. church there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would come then, over... Yeah, and in the summertime, Dad would row us across the lake. Oh. And um, then we would just... We'd have to walk a short distance. Up to the church? To the church, yes. So that must have been... To the kind of a field and a little old road that used to be there. Wow. And then as we got older, uh, we would walk. We would come down the island and then we'd come across the stone bridge. Yes. And that would just bring us right out here by the little school, just up the road from okay. here. And then we would walk up. We better have our new good shoes to put on when we get near the church and hide the old ones in the ditch. <laughs> oh, you didn't, didn't wear the good ones. <laughs> so that rowing across must have been quite an adventure for well, all. Well, it was quite an adventure, yeah. and Dad was good to do that. You know, Dad was went to the Church of England. Oh, okay. He went to the Hammond River Church. He was baptized there, and they oh. were Anglicans. So he that's why he'd row you across and then come back to take you back in the boat and maybe yeah, get a drive. Yes, he must have. Yeah. But that that's quite a wide piece of water. It would take quite a while to come across, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, it'd be oh. quite a, did, did you, as you get older, ever row across yourselves? As we kid? never did that. Always got him to do it. Yeah. And you come across for Sunday school and church, so you'd have to be over quite early? Yeah. Yeah. And in the winter, yes. In the winter time, you'd come by sleigh. Yes. And that would be quite an adventure, mm -hmm. I would think. Oh, I'm trying to think about all that. Yeah. Was it very cold in the winter to come by horse and sleigh, or did you bundle up? We bundle up, yes. Yeah. And. Where did the, they must have had a place to put the horse? I'm trying to think about that. Yeah. See, Dad would bring us, I think. And then go back, maybe. Yeah. Well, a lot of changes since those days. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, my aunt, we could go to my Aunt Jessie's too. Mom's sister was Mrs. Ralph Wanamaker that lives where the young, right at the top of the hill here. Right. She was my mother's sister. Okay. So quite often, you know, Dad would bring us over. So we could stay there. Oh, okay. So you'd go up there. After church after or whatnot. Church. Yeah. So 
So that was, and other than that, how often would you go to St. John? Would that not be very oh, often? Twice a year, maybe. Twice a year. <laughs> when we were real little. Okay. No, we had no reason really to go no. to St. John. Dad would go to St. John and and do the shopping. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Go in on the train. And... I guess he must have, yeah. yes. Yeah. In those early years, he must have. Yeah. So, and nobody went on holidays like they do today. He didn't go any great distance. He just no. stayed on the farm. And, yeah. And uh, I suppose there was all kinds of things for kids to do, like you and your sisters. Not really. No? Didn't? Well, yeah, at home, you mean? Yeah, at home. Oh, yes, at home there were always games to play, you know. In the summertime we'd get to play ball. And, yeah. Just out in the field and around. You had, you had lots and of go kids. down swimming. That was one thing with oh, okay. our farm. And then our cousins that lived next door, we would get together and go down the shore swimming together. Oh, okay, so that, that was we looked forward to that. And the same with skating. Okay. When the ice was, you know, good for skating, yeah, we would go together down skating. Get a whole group of kids. And then that was good too because then the winter walk people that we knew, like from church and whatnot, when the ice was good, they came over to our cove oh, okay. because it was sheltered and the ice yeah. was good there. Good. So, so those were fun little times. Have All depended on the weather. On the summer and winter, yeah. And was Christmas a, a quite celebrated? Oh yes, days. we looked forward to Christmas. Dad always got the big. You, know, you always had a large Chris, real Christmas real tree. tree. Yeah. Dad would get that and put up. And Mom usually they usually trimmed it after we went to bed. Oh, you didn't see it till you get up in the morning. Yes. Okay. When we were really little, then as we got older, it was. You'd help to trim. Yeah, we did the trimming. And. What, did they usually have a turkey dinner? Yes, they, they usually dinner? had a turkey dinner. That was yeah. the big thing. Yeah. So there's been a lot of changes that you've seen over the years. Yes. And uh, yes. some have been for good and maybe some not so good, but... Uh, well, different for sure. Yeah, certainly different for sure. Yeah. Well, Lil, I'm going to thank you very much for, for doing this. It's been a treat for us to come here and... Reminisce about the old days. Oh, I've enjoyed doing it with you. Well, thank you. You're welcome.